Hello. For today's practice, I will be working in my sketchbook as usual. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use the sketch from the other day as my jumping off point for the sketch that I'm doing here. This was from the other morning and I'll rework it or something. Um, sometimes I do that, I pick something I like and then I, or you know, something I recently did and then I rework it and rework it and rework it. <laughs> it's never ever totally done. Okay, so I'll probably be using oil pastels. These are the gallery oil pastels. Um, and this is a Strathmore sketchbook. But also, this is a Strathmore sketchbook, which is a, let me see if I can zoom out even more, there we go, which is a, I like this one because it's a toned canvas sketchbook, I'll show you what I mean, when you open it up, it's a mixed media toned canvas sketchbook, so it's very, very thick. All right, so that is what I will be working on today, trying to recreate this onto here. Let's see if I can find a blank page. Okay. I'm actually almost done with the sketchbook. That's exciting. All right. There we go. I'm probably going to sketch first and then I'll just use the tools that I have around, see how that works. Okay, and you'll be hearing me kind of talk it through my process as I go along. I also have these markers that I always tend to use when I'm painting. Watercolors, maybe inks, we'll see. Just really depends on what I'm feeling like today, but first I have to hydrate. The giant mocha coffee, so sorry about that. All right, so I will get started. Turn on the music. Probably sketch this out a little bit. I don't know, you probably can't see that, but I'm just getting the feeling of this. I don't even know. Whenever I start like this, I never know how it's going to totally turn out. But I just enjoy playing anyway, so. I usually end up adding the leaves later, but we'll see. It might be hard to see. This is a really light pencil. I'll switch to my watercolor pencil by Strathmore. dipping right into the water. Let's put a lot of red in this. Um, I tend to tend to um, just stay on this side for some reason, so I'm trying to open it up a little bit more and use the whole page. To 
told you about my little puppy who's 10 months old. That's still a puppy, right? Morgan, he is kind of making noise. I think he hears something, so if you hear that, that's Morgan. That's okay. Just gotta keep going. Now I'm just gonna. I don't know what these reds look like. Oh, it's pretty cool. And sometimes I don't know exactly what they're gonna look like. So I just kind of mix as I go and usually oh this watercolor does great this is watercolor and it's looking so good in this So these are just the first layers, and I may not be able to finish it today, but that's okay. If you ever decide to follow along with me, I'd love to see what you're working on. Just tag it. Hashtag at painting with joy on Instagram. And Instagram has this thing where unless you're doing a live, and sometimes even that, it does not allow you to post the full videos. And this vi these videos are long. So I will post the rest of it on my YouTube channel, which you will find the link in my bio. Um, yeah. So if this abruptly cuts off for you, I will post the whole thing in YouTube so you can kind of see. I feel like this brush is too, too small. Let's see. This is my, my favorite brush pile and my most favorite brush in the world I cannot find. person looking for my brush. <laughs> Can't find it. Okay, that's okay. I'm gonna focus and I'm gonna keep going. Throw in some purple in there. I don't even know if that's purple. I really should mark these. These are mission paints, which um, I can't remember. I have the brush somewhere, but it or the box. Yeah. I'll put the link in the description of the YouTube so you can see what this is. I'm going to try to do the weird little... And I may not be able to do the whole thing here. I'm really like creating until my kids wake up or I have to leave for something else. So, 
This might just be a part one or you might have to stay tuned for part two. Every time I do this, I'm always like, oh, I don't love it. I don't love it. And then I start, you can't see that yet, but that is peach. Oh, I like that. I start and then I'm like, I don't love it. I don't love it. It's not working out. Then I start adding other layers and I'm like, oh, I like it. Doesn't look exactly like that, but that's what I'm basing it on. Okay. This is when it starts to feel fun for me when I add the markers or the when I start adding the um, well, pastel, I feel like the magic starts for me. So, I'll start doing that. Just little things. Can't really dance very well, so I'm letting the well, pastel did it for me. Okay, what is it missing? I feel like I knew it. it's missing some dark browns. Like this one has a lot of dark browns, so I'll add that. See how the watercolor went behind this oil pastel? Oh, I love that. Sometimes you need some darks to ground what you're working on. I wanted to do some kind of white flowers too, so I'll add that up here. forgot about them. That's just going to remind me what to do. Because sometimes I forget. I need some more pink. Maybe there. And as you can see, that's, well, I guess there's a little bit of that on my work. But it's not as um, prominent. That's an opera pink. Oh, it's so bright. Is it too bright? But I don't. I don't know. I think it's okay. Okay. Next, get some red. some marks that are weird which is how I like to work all of these reds are kind of looking way too similar so probably darken that a little bit some of them or even lighten some of them I don't know sometimes when I'm not really sure what to do I'll pick up a different tool and see how I like it. This was supposed to be a flower, but it accidentally got turned into a leaf shape. And sometimes that just happens. Ooh, I have an idea. We had some 
just to give it some definition because I feel like I went too dark and then I never switched any other color. So with the low pastel, I sometimes either press really hard or I just let it be. Just really depends on what I'm feeling. First I was like, ooh, do I like this? And just now I'm gonna start going crazy here in a moment. Just adding crazy colors everywhere. I don't know, it's like a gear in my brain. After a certain point, it starts your brain starts to do like add this or add that, or why don't you do this? Do something with that. Just have to listen to it. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, a lot of people ask how long it takes for me to do these. Uh, there's no easy answer. Sometimes it's really long. Sometimes it takes two sessions. These are watercolor markers from Winsor Newton. Oh, see how I, I love how it's like dark and then it makes me want to just press it down everywhere. Because it's really green, but... Okay, so far... This bouquet is looking okay. <laughs> Let me add some light. Like I said, I'm just playing around. This is acrylic ink. Sometimes I like to paint with my hand. And look, I'm just dipping right there. I don't suggest you do that all the time, but Sometimes it's fun to do. I know that I'm adding white onto, like, why didn't I just start on a white page, right? But I really love how that looks, the white looks on craft paper. Strathmore's craft paper is just really, really fun. It's the acrylic ink. Looking at my time, I'm at 18 minutes and 21 seconds, see? So even though in the time lapse it seems fast, it really does take a lot of time. Just adding some weird blues. And this is a teal by Golden. Their inks, acrylic. I feel like it, the purple needs some definition, so I'll add some of that. And kind of like that blue. Maybe it's too blue, so I'll come back and add different in, in just a second. And I don't mind if it looks like a mess. And like I said, I might not even finish this today. Sometimes it's fun to just let it sit to see what you think about it later. Yeah, so 
think I was saying I'd love to see if you end up joining me tag it as painting with joy on Instagram or you have a private Facebook group that you can join where you can share your work and people just you know ask questions if you have any um, and that will be also linked it'll be in my links and it'll be linked in the description Charvin, it's called Linen Flower. It is a acrylic. I just, I always end up using this with my hand. I love how it looks on the page. And I didn't put protectant on my hand, usually I do, but. And I'm actually going somewhere today, so I don't have my paint pants on, so I can't wipe right on that, but that's okay. listening to music in my ear and then I'm like oh I gotta stop I have other things I gotta do today and then a favorite song comes up and I'm like uh, just a little bit more so that's not done but I'm stopping for now and this is kind of like the reference for this just reworking the two but like I said I'm not totally done yet so I'll have to come back and revisit that but stay tuned for part two thank you so much for joining me all the description links and so on will be in my bio no will be in the description all right until next time